What's good everybody, it's JC Sims here and welcome back to my channel. So amazing news, I do not have internet. My internet decided to completely stop working a few hours ago. I've been unplugging things, plugging them back in, waiting 30 seconds, playing with settings, Googling. Nothing is working, so um, I had a hard enough time trying to get my lights to turn on because I have the Elgato um, key lights and they work on Wi-Fi, so I don't know what's wrong with my Wi-Fi because I was able to um, airplay my backdrop and I was able to turn my lights on and stuff, but I am not able to like search the internet or anything. Because I don't have Wi-Fi, I don't have any way to download new mods for today's video or anything, so I was like racking my brain, like what can I film? What kind of mods can I show off? What can I do with no Wi-Fi? Because I still wanna get a video up tomorrow or today when you're watching this, which is hopefully Monday. Um, so today I decided that we are going to do a custom content show case with some of my favorite build CC for more realistic homes. I love building. I'm a builder at heart. Without mods in The Sims 4, it is merely a building simulator for me. Whenever I'm building, I always get annoyed with a few things, as does every builder in The Sims 4, but I get more annoyed with little things that aren't included or little things that need to be fixed when I'm building a house to make it more realistic. So that is what we're going to show off today. Just like little items, not furniture pieces, but like think garage doors and like moldings and stuff like that little trim so um, if you like videos like this don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you get notified every time i post a new video and let's go ahead and get into it well um i was getting ready to start filming and we <laughs> We have a guest visitor over here. And also my door is open, let me go fix that. Okay, so we're back and now we are actually ready. Today we are in a house that I have been building for the last few days. Um, little sneak peek, this is actually my uh, the star of my upcoming LP on this channel, her parents' home. And I'm already seeing an issue, I need to fix this. But yeah, I've been working on this for a few days. I love it so much. It's not finished like at all on the inside. Obviously it is completely empty, but that is why it is the perfect house to test our custom content because what I'm gonna be showing you today are things that you would add during like the building process before you put all of your furniture in because I find that we are missing some items and some things in build mode that can make houses like truly realistic. So. The first thing I wanna show off to you is something that I actually found like yesterday or the day before that. Uh, and if you have ever played The Sims 2, and this might be something that you don't notice at all. I'm probably just being very particular, but I'm sure there are some people out there that are just as annoyed by this. Or if you're not now that I've showed you, you are probably going to be annoyed by it and go and download these wallpapers. So a lot of the times in my homes, I like to build like double story entryways. As you can see right here, you walk up the stairs in the entryway and um, like this whole thing is open. Also in this house, I have made a double story living room. So the thing that always bothered me about walls in The Sims 4, if I was trying to make a double story entryway or living room or anything like that. And I like having crown molding on my walls when I build. So if I was to take one of the crown moldings, for example, the plain but pretty, I really like this one and I put it on the bottom one. Okay, it looks fine, it looks amazing. You can see we have the crown molding right here. But if I go to do it on the second floor, the molding stays. And that bothers me a lot. So when I was building this house, I was really annoyed because I just wanted it perfect. I was building the two-story entryway and I was putting the walls down. This is a terrible color to use because it is so bright in here. I'm gonna use these dark walls right here. So I was putting the walls down and ideally I would want the crown molding to be on the bottom and the top right here, but none of the wallpapers in The Sims 4 have that. And a lot of the custom ones that I download, well, all of them up until this point had the moldings on the top and the bottom too. So the creator, um, Glitter and Jaeger and Sims, I love that name, uh, they have made these wallpaper sets and they're split up by ones that have the molding on the top and the bottom, ones that have the molding on just the bottom, 
uh, ones that have molding on just the top, and then you also have ones that have like the more elaborate, um, I don't know what you would call this, wainscoting maybe? Yes, wainscoting. And then with the wainscoting ones, you also have the ones that have the wainscoting and the trim on the top. So if I wanted to make a double story foyer now, all I would have to do is put the bottom one on like right here, and then I come and I get the top one. These probably will not match. No, they don't. Now they do. So now you just have a seamless um, full wall with the trim on the top and the bottom. Now, one thing about The Sims 4 is no matter what, when you have any type of double story entryway or living room, it's always going to put this line in the middle. Uh, I was looking through the download page notes and that is something that the creator notices and is trying to fix, but it's something that you just can't get around with the way that The Sims build mode is set up. But I have been obsessed with these. It makes like, I'm so like particular when it comes to building a house and it just bothers me so much when I wanna do the two story anything and I always have the trims right in the middle. Now you just have the full wall and no line in the middle. Okay, so my next piece of custom content is really, really cool, and I also found it a few days ago when I was looking for the double story wallpapers for the trim or whatever. I have said molding in this video so much, but this next object is another molding piece, but this time it is like a modular piece of crown molding. So these are from the creator Sim Vault, and they are the Heritage Crown Molding, and there's also columns in this set. But they are just a piece of wall decoration, as you can see, and they're also only a dollar, so it won't be too expensive and they just go right on the walls so you have molding and you can put them wherever you want so if you have a wall that you really like but maybe you want molding on it or like with this wall that I have there was like this ugly tile down here now you can just cover it with molding they have some different swatches down here and it just sticks right to the bottom and you can also do this for the top if you want you would obviously have to um, alt place it up there but you can just put molding now on any walls that you want. If the wall doesn't come with molding, you can put it on there. If it comes with ugly molding, you can replace it with this. And this is a really wacky um, placing job right now. But the molding is also very, like, standard and common like this is a common molding you'd see in a lot of houses so i love this and i also like it because now the molding is 3d usually the molding is 2d into the wall it's just a part of the wallpaper but now with this you can have like true realistic 3d crown molding and i just i love this this also comes with these columns the heritage columns and the cool thing about these columns is that they are not counted as like columns in game they are just sculptures so if you wanted to put them in the middle of a wall it would go to the other side but you can also freely place them wherever you want so you can do that uh, you can rotate them however you want so it's basically just a column but as a sculpture so you have complete free reign over how you want to move it unlike our columns in game i never knew why the column system is the way it is in the sims 4 because it just doesn't make any sense they're like stuck there so hopefully with sims 5 columns will be freely placed but this is a really good way i love putting the columns like over on the end you can have them freely standing in any room and then there also is different height so you have this short ones and then you have the taller ones and I like using these sometimes to put on top of walls so if I took like a half wall if I was trying to make a little fence or something I can do a half wall like this and then with the column you can either put it on the edge like that but you can also raise them up because they're simply objects you can also use the tool mod if you want to get some more precise like elevations or whatnot but this looks really cute if you're trying to make like what i was doing up here with the columns you would place a column on top of here and you can really just do whatever you want with the column which i think is much more realistic than having them stuck because i feel a lot of the times they like float up and they'll like turn around and like what they're doing right here it's come every time i go into the house like the spandrels i have to click every single column and stuff so the columns are super buggy in the sims 4 i love cc like decorative columns because you can literally place them anywhere you want to so the next piece of cc is something that i love downloading in my game and i also mentioned a similar object in my realistic functional cc that was the first custom content showcase that I ever um, uploaded if you want to go check that out for more types of like light switches and stuff 
But I love light switches and any kind of fixtures. I feel like that is something missing from The Sims. We've never had those, but it is such a little piece that can make your home look so much more realistic and just finished. So we have some over here. We even have the dimmer and stuff. These are by SimPixels. They were originally for The Sims 2, but SimPixels converted them for The Sims 4. And in my realistic functional CC video, all I had was the light switches and I don't know if I had plugs or not, but this set actually comes with a lot more. So as you'll notice behind the TV, I have like a telephone jack or a coaxial cable and a telephone jack. It also comes with the dimmer. You have the outlet over here that has like the reset thing that you would see more in bathrooms. I like to put this one in bathrooms. We have some over here in the kitchen. You know, you usually have some on the countertop for like small appliances. I like to put them on the islands. Um, we have a little switch over here. This is supposed to be like the garbage disposal. So it's a really small thing, but once you put it in the house, it just makes everything look put together. And I swear, once you start putting little fixtures and light switches all over your houses in The Sims, you will not stop because it just looks so good and so realistic. I have been loving doing this for months and I love that I found more of a um I don't want to say normal version because the version from that video was also normal but a, just another type of light switch I cannot get enough of these little fixtures in the game okay so my backdrop completely decided to say goodbye because I don't have wi-fi so we're gonna turn it off for the rest of this video this whole no wi-fi thing is really messing up my jig so um basically what I was saying these add-on kits that Peacemaker makes he takes objects that are in the game and he expands on them he pretty much does this every time a new pack comes out he does this not only for build mode but also buy mode i'm gonna have all of the build mode add-on sets linked down below but you can also go to his website if you would like to see the furniture add-ons um the furniture add-ons really they're just like when um packs give us a love seat with no matching sofa he gives us the matching sofa and like maybe a matching coffee table i cannot live without add-ons i think they're a really good way for people who don't really like cc um they're really i don't even count these as custom content they're really objects that ea should have given us to match everything but they didn't so um i'm just gonna walk you through some examples that i have and use and the first one i used pretty much all over this house so if we come into the windows really quick and i filter it by uh let's just filter it by get to work first all of these windows are going to show up so with get to work it originally comes with this window um this window this window and this window this is what get to work originally comes with it also comes with ones like these but we're really just focusing on these ones right here so i love these windows but they're a little too like shop window and i get it because it was get to work but they also could be really good windows to use like in a home so with the add-on sets you get things like here is a one tile version of the curved one we have a two tile version of the curved one we have a three tile version of the um, square one and then he also does the same thing for the taller wall height so you have all of the matching windows again for the medium and tall wall heights which i also really like because i play a lot on small and medium height so when um there might be a window that i really like that is only medium height usually i can count on the fact that peacemaker will have an add-on window set and will give me that window window in a shorter wall height here's another example this is another one of my favorite add-on sets that he did uh, i feel like a lot of people have seasons it's kind of one of those essentials packs that everyone gets first so it comes with really good windows i'm i'm gonna be honest it comes with like the small one you have this triple one a single one a taller single one a little bit of a taller triple one this little arched one and this big like double one i love this window so everything else that you see down here is part of the add-on set uh these don't mind these these are two tile these were really useful before the update um when we couldn't have like half tile windows that worked really good for that with this you get like a two tile of the short one you get this one one, which is just a whole new square window you get a taller single one like this um, you get a single one like this big double dramatic one over here um, 
just a lot of combinations, even a bigger version. So if you're trying to make a house and you want all of the windows to look the same and the doors, this is a really good way to do that because I hate when I go to build a house in The Sims 4 because I, I like The Sims 4's in-game objects. I use a lot of custom content, but obviously you can see this house is a mix of custom content and EA. I love EA's like objects that they come out, especially the doors and windows. My issue always lies in the fact that they'll give us like a two window but won't give us a single window or they'll give us a single window but not a double one so it's really hard to make a house with all the same windows when you don't have all of the same window options so these add-on packs are like a game changer and a lifesaver for me when i'm trying to build better houses um this video isn't just for how to build more realistic houses i would say this is how to make your houses just look better in general so here is the cats and dogs um add-on pack Obviously, there is a bunch here. It just completely expands on the build and buy, and he gives you every single option that you could ever want. I also feel like if you have some expansion packs or stuff packs, and assuming that you're on PC and can download these add-on packs, it really makes all of the add-on packs worthwhile. I really feel like it completes the pack in terms of build mode. So I will have... Um, all of the build mode add-ons down below but you can go to his website if you want to check out any of his other windows because all of his windows and doors are amazing and i love them but i love his add-on packs because it makes the maxis windows a little more usable and i like that because i want to be able to use the maxis stuff i don't really like it collecting dust and wasting space in my game so if CC creators can allow me to use my Maxis stuff more, I am all for it. So my next few pieces are also by Peacemaker and they are from the Loft Living set over on his page. And I've had these featured in a lot of my videos, uh, not featured, but in the background. And people would ask me like, what is that? And basically these are just little wall pieces that can be placed anywhere or they do snap onto the wall. So I'm gonna put a little wall right here. And these, there's all different sizes. You have these little wall segments like this, and they also place on the wall and go up and down. You can, I like to use these to make walls. I also like to make little fireplace backdrops with these. So you can just put a fireplace right in the middle and it fits really nicely. This set also comes with the pieces for every wall height. So you have short, medium, and tall. And I love these. I use these to make little fake like half walls because you have the segments that are smaller. And if you wanted to use like a taller one like this, this is super tall, and like size it down and maybe do like a, um, you can do like a little mini backdrop behind fireplaces or really put them wherever you want. I use them as little fences. You can place them and then delete the walls if you want to use them as partitions. I think these are so versatile and I use them in all different kinds of ways, not even just for lofts. So um, they come in a bunch of fun brick different colors as well as just some like bigger tiled ones if I could get to them like this. Yeah, I love them. I also like using them for if I wanted to do like the entryway like this that you see on a lot of houses. I'm gonna insert a picture of what I'm trying to um, accomplish right here. So sometimes you'll have these houses that have the double like entryway before you get into the entryway. So it's like an outside type of thing. So what I would do is let me make this a little bigger. Times I will take the walls that are like this and I will come down here and I will get a medium wall height section. Ooh, I need a small wall height for this one. Okay. Short wall height section right here. Okay. And then we're going to take the short sections that we can put them beside it like so you can leave it like that i personally don't like leaving it like that so there's these little outer corners you can put on okay i am not sure what happened my camera shut off and then i noticed that um my face got like super bright and my wi-fi went out so i cannot um control my lights we are not having a fun time in the jc sims house but anyways after you get all of these pieces placed on here now you can just delete the walls in here delete the floor in the middle and you have a completely seamless two-story arch and then we can just put a pretty little door behind here and voila perfect
I have been using this trick for the longest time to get perfect seamless two-story arches because the other way that you can cheat it, it just doesn't look as good. I used to just take like a wall like this and then I would put an arch on the second floor. So I would put something like this on the second floor and then I would knock the walls out down here. Um, this wouldn't be here, but you, you can kind of get what I'm saying. This would never match up. It just looked really sloppy most of the time. So I love using these little loft living segment pieces for a lot of different things. Two-story arches. You can use them for little half walls and partitions and homes. They are super versatile and you pretty much need to go download them right now. Okay, so the next object that I have to show you is another one that I get a lot of questions about when some people see it like in the back in my builds and whatnot, and that is where do you get your garage doors? And this is mainly the one that I like to use the most. It is the simple garage door, but I use a lot of different ones. Um, obviously, we do not have functional cars or functional garages in The Sims 4, so these don't go up. You can't drive into these obviously yet. Hopefully speaking into existence, I've been speaking into existence for the last six years, but I still like adding garages to my houses because it just looks more realistic. I usually add them to all my houses. Um, not every house in real life has a garage, obviously, but I find that the houses that don't have garages are usually homes that are a little closer together or... Um, like attached homes like townhomes and stuff like that but also in the sims 4 we can't have lots like right next to each other you know whatever so generally 99.9% .9 of the time I will add a little fake garage onto my sims' home so I really like this one in particular because it's not really like a door or it doesn't snap to anything and it's like too it's like thick so when you put it in the wall half of it is going to go inside and half of it's going to go on the other side i like this because as you can see my house is on a little bit of a foundation i usually either put my houses on a one foundation like this or a few clicks up because i don't like the house to just like sit on the ground but when you do that and use any other garage doors they usually like float to up here where the um, foundation starts so then you have to use terrain manipulation make a little hill and sometimes you just don't want to do that so i love these they also come in a lot of fun different colors this is actually i remember this is a recolor of another just white version so i will have both of those versions down below um, and I will also have some other versions that I use linked down below. I took all of my garage doors out of my game except for this one, and my plans were to put some more in the game to show you guys, but uh, yeah, my Wi-Fi turned off. So I will still link some of my other favorites. I just like to use these because they're just a piece that, that slots on the outside of a piece of a wall. So. What I like to do is I make the garage on the foundation, then I will take the platform tool and put it down to ground level to match the outside and I'll put the garage door in between that. I also like to make my garages functional even though the cars inside aren't functional. I will make my garages like storage areas. So in here we have like some toy boxes and stuff. We actually have the box to our um, master mix and some kids toys and stuff. I will also put the holiday box out here. So. Even though we don't have, you know, functional garages, you can still make it like a functional room. You can put like the woodworking station or whatever out there. So I love garages. I kind of made them my own in-game feature since six years later, seven years later, we still don't have them. Um, I'm going to make it work. You can best believe I'm going to make it work either way. So the last thing that I'm going to mention is not an object at all. It is actually a mod. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this. If you are on my channel, it probably means that you are a seasoned modder so you kind of know about all of the popular ones but for the people that don't i'm going to recommend the better build by mod by twisted mexi this mod has personally saved my life the mod has evolved over time now the mod is comprised of like i think three or four of his previous mods so the first thing that i love that you can do is you can expand the buy mode by clicking the one button so you can see a lot more objects which makes it easier for um you know using things that you may 
may not use very often because you can't find them in this little, you know, two row menu down here. Now you have four or five different rows. I love that. You can also go into tab mode and build mode, which I can't live without. I love using this to go inside to see what my houses look like inside while I'm building them. It's like a necessity for me so I can see if there's anything like this roof is poking through. Uh, I can see the placement of things. So I love that aspect. But the reason why I love this for building better and more realistic houses is because he actually made the debug and live edit menu as choices in the little filter thing down here. So when you get this mod, the first thing that you're going to do is come to the better build by filter and turn it on. And after that, you're going to have to restart your game so that the changes take effect. And then when you come into content, you have debug, live edit, custom content, and hide maxes. I especially love the hide maxes and the custom content one because hide maxes will hide all of your maxis objects but you can also turn on and off your custom content objects as well and my personal favorite is the fact that debug and live edit are now organized nicely so one thing that i love are debug plants and before this mod came out i never used them because i just found it way too hard to go in try to find it you cannot eye drop things if they um, are debug objects without this mod so if we come in here and go to the trees or foliage section or whatever and we come to shrubs I have the debug and live edit ticked and I'm also hiding Maxis. So now we have all of these plants that we can use. We have all these amazing shrubs that I'm sure you've seen other builders using. You're like, where the hell did they get that? Um, it's probably from the debug menu. All of these plants are free. And this is a really awesome way to have really amazing looking landscaping because I feel like the debug free trees and bushes look better than the paid ones. I'm not really sure. But because they're free, you can landscape your starter homes and stuff, and you don't have to worry about the um, bill being $40,000 and 30000 of it being because you put 40000 bushes on the lot. So I love this mod. I could not live without it. Like I said, you can eye drop debug objects and everything. Um, this is how I... Around here, you see I made this. This is all little pieces that I have put in myself. And these are all debug pieces. I used to do this before this mod came out and I would have to place it and then come back down here, place it, come back down here, place it. And, and it was just so annoying that nine times out of 10, I just wouldn't mess with it and move on to something else. And I really think that builds look better when you add some debug objects in it because I don't know, it just does. So yeah, that is going to wrap up today's custom content showcase. Okay guys, that is going to wrap up my video today showcasing you some of my favorite build items for more realistic homes. I know it was kind of short and kind of random, but I don't have Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this video and I hope by the time I'm done editing that my Wi-Fi has decided to revive itself or my black ass is going to be in a Starbucks tomorrow morning uploading from there. So um, if you like this video, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, turn your notifications bell on, you all know what to do. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.